So Michael Andrew with that impressive 51-31 this morning. That put him at number five in the world rankings behind Andre Minikov of the Russian Federation at 51-17. Here's Andrew from lane four, taking it out quickly. 23.38, about an identical split to what he was this morning. Evan Carlson second, 23-94, third from lane one. Danny Kovac, 24-2. That was Andrew's best time in this event with a prelim swim of 51-31. And another dominating showing here from Michael Andrew of the MA Swim Academy reaches in with a 50.80. Unofficially the second best time in the world for 2021. And also establishing a new Pro Swim Series record, eclipsing the 50.92 from Caleb Dressel in 2020. Second, Zach Harding, 52.22 as Harding was home in a blazing 27.61. And third, Danny Kovac, 52.26. Drew is joining us again. Tier Pro Swim Series record in this event too. Roddy's talked about kind of making the back half better for you, physical, mental, putting it all together. What's been the secret right now? Uh, it's hard to put a finger on it. The training hasn't changed. I spoke with some time the other day, and really, what's happened is I feel like my team, my family, my life outside of swimming has just kind of all been lining up, and I realize how important it is to have that mental health and the emotional health match with the training so we're in a great place god is good and it's exciting to be swimming this fast with when you three think, weeks when you, when you think michael about what you did in the hunter brushstroke and now the hunter butterfly i know jason just asked him i'm trying to figure out <laughs> i mean what is it that this, you're putting it all together i know you talk about the mental state but something physically has to happen to get home that back half now there, there is um you know I think the mental state is a physical thing because right. it's our brain that controls everything. But we've been working really hard. I've been putting in a lot more long course work, a lot of 200 pace fly sets, you know, training for that 2 IM, which you got tomorrow. But I can see that physically manifesting itself in my finishes because that felt really nice coming home. Michael, you've always been a confident guy, but what's that do for your confidence here going as you're trying to make that Olympic team for the first time? Uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, it's huge, you know, for me going into trials being on top where I'm at now, it's, uh, it's a blessing. But at the same time, I don't want to put too much emphasis on it because anything can happen on the day, and I'm going to do what I can to control myself and be ready to race and make that spot. Michael, congratulations. Thanks, Great guys. Job. Good to see you.